In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my makeup bag video. So if you're interested in that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and stick around. Hey guys, it's Jordan Jonas Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. So if you are brand new here, feel free to hit that juicy red subscribe button. No pressure, but like that subscribe button looks so cute on you. So like, just give it a little touch. You won't regret it. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a what's in my makeup bag video. And this was suggested by Hand, a member of the Sparkly family. And if you would like to check out her channel, you can check it out on my main channel. You will be able to see a featured content creators section. I don't remember what it's called. Featured creators. I don't know. You will see it. Her channel is right there. You should also check out Karen's World. Her channel is in my feature channels as well because she is just a little ball of sunshine. And if you want to check out her channel and give her some love and support, I'm sure she would absolutely love that. And um, yeah, you won't regret that because they're both amazing. So anyways, let's jump into this video. So first off, I'm not one of those people that likes to hoard a giant, giant collection of makeup. Like I've said before, I'm not really a beauty guru, I'm more of like the gender marbles version, like a beauty tuber. Like I like to do my makeup, but they might not be that good at it. I might not do it all the time, I might not follow the rules, I might not use the best things, I might not use the right products. So yeah, that's my story. And so basically all of my makeup that I have left, this guitar pick was stuck to the makeup bag. I swear guitar picks are like my lucky thing. I find them everywhere. I had like one fall into my hand while I was walking through Hotel Georgia here in Vancouver. I find them in my pocket. I always like find them on the street. I don't know. I'm haunted by guitar picks. Anyways, so everything I have makeup wise fits in this little roll up bag. Like Velcro shut Oop, this way. If it wasn't so jam packed, but it all fits in there. And so basically inside I have three compartments and on this bottom compartment I basically have like all of my makeup, all of my makeup, it's all in there. No, like all of my foundation, if I have a primer and stuff, it's in there. Sometimes I keep my moisturizer in there if it's like a really, really, really tiny one. Um, yeah, foundations, I have concealers in there, I keep like my bronzers and my powder. And that, what I keep touching is like a baked illuminating highlighter that I lost the lid to. Oops. So in the second pouch up, I have basically all of my eye products. So I have like mascaras, eyeliners, lashes, that kind of thing, shadows. And then in the top, I have all my lip products. So there's like a fur from the cats stuck on my nose, as always. Okay. So, I guess you guys probably want to see what's in some of these, I guess. Oh, and I also have, like, a little other thing that I'll show you afterwards that's also, like, part of my makeup, but we'll get to that after. So, in the top, and bleh, you guys know I'm all about that thriftiness. So, this was literally, I think, $4, $3 or $4 at Dollarama, and it was a shower bag that I decided I would make into a makeup bag. And if you're one of those people that's like kind of a minimalist, you like to just have a small amount of makeup, then I definitely recommend doing that. Check out the dollar store for like three or four bucks. You can't freaking go wrong. Um, but yeah, oh, and I also just hang this on in my closet because I don't really have like shelves in my bedroom or anything. So this just hangs in my closet with my clothes. I also have like a hanger that I do like hang all of my scarves and stuff on in my closet. Maybe I'll do like a closet tour one day if you guys want that. You can ask in the comments below if that's something you're interested in. And also, P.S., if you watched my last video, go comment on when you can see the black lipstick start building on my teeth. I swear, I was like editing back the video and you can see there's like bright white smile, no lipstick on my teeth, no lipstick on my teeth, no lipstick. Oh, there's a little bit of lipstick. A couple minutes go by. Oh, it's collecting. Oh, 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 and she's got black teeth. <laughs> so, anyways, what's in here? I'll give you guys a little peek what I got in here. So, what's this? I've got the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is basically what was rubbing off on my teeth. 
Um, it's not that this uh, transfers a lot, it was that I tried to put a gloss over top of it and then it was transferring all over the place. And so then I put like some uh, like metallic eyeshadow to just give it kind of like a metallic look and it was still transferring all over my teeth. So yeah, that's a liquid lip. It just like dries down dry. It doesn't transfer very bad. Um, then there's a NYX lingerie. It's another liquid lip. Then I have like a wet and wild lipstick. This is a short affair. That's the shade. It's like a light nudish pink. I've got another wet and wild in the shade cherry frost. If you notice the theme here, everything I own is so cheap. Um, I've got trust fund beauty method to the madness. This is just a lip gasm it's called and it was like a lip gloss from a um ipsy box this is butter lipstick um uh, by nyx it's my red lipstick and i've got oh, the devil this is a mariposa matte lip gloss stains the life out of everything um this is just a pink lip gloss i don't know who it's by it's called ouija or ouija or whatever like the magical boards uh, I've got a Wet n Wild in Dark Wine. Sorry I'm going through these so fast. They're just like old and not the prettiest stuff. It's nothing to really be showing off. This is a lip liner from an Ipsy box as well. Um, it says I am loved. Actually, no, sorry. This is from BoxyCharm. And then I have NYX Liquid Suede in the shade. What shade are we? It says LSCL11. I don't know, but a red liquid lip by NYX. Then I have NARS. This is like a lip finger bob. Oh, she's out. She's done. Okay, then I have this melted chocolate. Oh, there's a hair on it. Melted chocolate by Too Faced and um, liquefied lipstick. A lot of liquid lipsticks. I hate real lipstick. Like, they're pretty and I like how they go on and everything, but I do everything sticks to my teeth. It's just because I have, like, no lips at all and they're all, like, turned in. It's just, like, how my face works. So I like liquid lips that, like, dry and don't transfer at all. And, uh, yeah, that's, like, one of the most expensive things in here because everything else is from the dollar store. And this is, like, an old, broken-down, shackled, red CoverGirl lipstick in the shade... Something wine. Vintage wine. It's a pretty vintage lipstick. Look at it. It's like broken to pieces. And that was literally it. I'm just gonna have like a giant mess here when I'm done, but we're gonna go through everything. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe let's not go through everything. This video will be super long. I'm gonna be going through some of this in another video. I'll just like show you one of each thing. So I've got like some e.l.f. liquid liner. This is the black one. It's pretty good. I've got some pencil liners in here. This is by e.l.f. as well. Um, got some cheap palettes I don't recommend by Mariposa. Some more Mariposa palettes I don't recommend. I got some eyelashes, cheap sapphire ones. Don't recommend those either. The bands kind of suck. Got some more. Don't recommend them. Then I've got like some of these ones I think are from like Japan and these are for bottom lashes. Never tried them before. Then I do recommend these ones. These are the NYX Wicked Lashes in the shade Drama Queen. And I wear those all the time. They're giant and ba ba boom. Love those. Then I've got some mascara that I don't like. Mega Plush. I really need to like go through even this tiny collection of what I have left and get rid of a lot of it. Basically, I was like a giant hoarder growing up with like everything that I owned. Stuffed animals, schoolwork, everything that I owned. You name it, I would hoard it as a child. So that's why I try and live so like minimalistically. I don't own a lot of stuff. Basically everything that I could own, everything that I own could like fit in a couple suitcases. I'm not like a hugely materialistic person. I just like try and repurpose things and like even the makeup that I don't like, I'll try and like reuse it in like different ways to like just try and make use of it be thrifty i don't like wasting money i like to use things all the way down to pan even if it's like really old makeup i'll put it to use somehow trust me but uh yeah just some more like shadows and stuff in here there's none that i'm like a humongous fan of that are in here right now except for maybe this like tiggy or tiggy last call high density this is a pretty standard classic palette that you can do like anything with the shadows are really good but I'm all about like testing those bargain shadows and bargain products and a lot of them just aren't good that's just like the truth but 
that's what you get. Um, but yeah, some more like pencil liners, um, a blinky shimmer eyeshadow, a red, I love red, and um, yeah, that's about it for that one. And then the last pouch on the uh, very bottom here, we have that like baked highlighter that is missing the top and it's a revolution highlighter it says radiant lights makeup revolution london then there's this like concealer palette that's so dirty this is from forever 21 it's really a crappy concealer so wouldn't worry about it this is the best drugstore powder it's the rimmel match perfection the best my fave ah! my favorite foundation now, this just wouldn't be my channel if my camera battery didn't just die and make me take a half an hour hiatus from filming, of course. But anyways, give me a quick second to put some of the makeup back in my bag and do some cleanup in between shots. But anyways, so we were on this Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. This is still my foundation of choice at the time. It's a full coverage foundation. I am looking for a new foundation, though. Not that this one is like even empty or anything yet. I'm just looking for like maybe a medium cover foundation or something, I don't know. But if you guys have any foundation that you love, make sure to leave some recommendations in the comments because I'm looking to buy something different. Okay, then I've got this Revlon um, Instafix. It's a photo ready concealer foundation stick. Can be used as both. It's like a really, really thick stick foundation then i've got like the worst worst the worst bronzer of all time and an all right uh blush that comes with it that's just hella pigmented but it's all right this is the moisturizer that i use all the time it's the garnier skin active moisture rescue refreshing gel cream if it's a gel then it's not like oil based and it doesn't leave like super thick this underneath your underneath that like moves around your foundation then I've got this Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder Foundation. I've got some NYX concealer. I've got this tiny, tiny, tiny little cool bronzer that I like to use for contouring. I've got the Maybelline Matte Fit Me Poreless. I'll say that in the wrong order. Foundation. And then I've got this uh, Cover FX concealer. I like to use that for doing like cut crease on my eyes. I've got this liquid highlighter that came in a boxy charm and then this is a like um setting spray that i absolutely hate and won't be repurchasing and this is nano blur if this counts as makeup it's like just a bad product i can talk about that in another video and this is another bad product the cover girl skin perfector true magic it's kind of the same as the nano blur and they both just suck um, this is the Kiss Professional New York eyeshadow that I love, and I don't know why that's in this section of my bag. And then this is just like a green concealer color corrector. That's it for the bag, because we already went through those two. And then the other thing that I was saying that I have on the side is just this can that my friend Adam got me from London. It had like some chocolate chip biscuits. Little tiny chocolate chip cookies. Oop. That was a beauty blender and popped out. But basically, I like to keep all of my brushes and beauty blenders inside this. And um, I was thinking of doing a, another video on how you can wash your brushes and beauty blenders the cheap and easy way at home. And, well, where else are you going to do? Bring them to the laundromat? I don't know. But <laughs> just the cheap, easy way, I guess. And if you guys want to see a video on that, then let me know in the comments below and I can film it. And if you have any other questions or if you just have any other suggestions for beauty related videos or any related videos really that you want to see, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that is it for what's in my makeup bag. I've got like a cologne, like other things like that that I keep on the side. It's not really makeup, but like my hygiene stuff. And that's literally it. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So if you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up like I said in the beginning. Make sure to smack that subscribe button because it looks super cute on you. Give it a little press. 
and you won't regret it. And uh, as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I will catch you guys in the next video, which I'm not sure what it is yet. So let me know in the comments what it's going to be. Anyways, bye guys.